Hi, I'm Howard Halley, Editor-at-Large and Chief Art Critic for Time Out New York. You know, I'm here at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and in addition to treasures from 5,000 years of art history, this museum is filled with butts, all kinds of butts. There's one, there's another one, there's another one, all different shapes and sizes. But which ones are the best? Well, you'll find out if you'll follow me on our tour of the best butts at the Met. This suit of armor for the Emperor Ferdinand I has it going on not only in the back, but in the front as well. This is a second century Roman marble of a wounded warrior, and as you can see, half of his cheek is blasted away, making this somewhat half-assed. Archaeologists were amazed when they unearthed the 6,000-year-old portrait of Kim Kardashian. This is a sculpture of the mythological figure Perseus by the 18th-century Italian artist Antonio Canova. And it sure looks like this guy took the Stairmaster seriously. This painting is by a 19th century French painter by the name of uh, Henri Le Royal, and it shows a woman in a choir loft re dur during a rehearsal. Babies got back. In this hunting scene by Rubens, what we're looking at here is technically not a human butt, but quite literally a horse's ass, but it is certainly one of the most pronounced uh, pair of glutamus maximus in the museum. This is a 1528 painting by Lucas Cranach the Elder, depicting the famous mythological tale of the Judgment of Paris. And uh, I'm guessing he's having a hard time figuring out uh, who is the most bootylicious. This is Woman Before a Mirror by Henri Toulouse-Lautrec. And uh, I think it's a prime example of uh, junk in the trunk. 